Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from KBandsTraining.com, and today we're going to be looking at our most popular drill, the K-Bands Wall Drill. The Wall Drill is a great way to build hip flexor strength as well as power off the ground, developing linear speed. So for youth athletes, it's very important that we maintain that same type of form as our more advanced athletes, but we want to focus on a, a little bit shorter time durations during and in between sets we can stretch the rest periods just a bit. First, let's work on our form and work through some of the flaws that these younger athletes might have with the wall drill. First things first is when we approach the wall, we want to maintain that 45 degree angle off the wall with a high arm base. Now, a lot of young athletes will want to roll their backs. They're going to want to roll their shoulder blades forward. We don't want to do that. We want to maintain good posture, good running form with our chest position while we put our base on the wall. Now that we've got that forward tilt, we want to make sure that we stay off our heels. Some young athletes will always look to go to the flat-footed position before they drive up. We want to eliminate that working off the balls of our feet, trying to explode up with powerful knees, staying underneath your shoulders or armpits. Remember, when you're working through resistance with these younger, weaker athletes, it's important that we focus on knee drive and the proper alignment. Letting your knees slide across the midline is not what we're gonna wanna do. We're gonna wanna build strength through the resistance coming up in the exact hip motion that we would in the running position without resistance. You're gonna be doing short burst sets of about eight to 10 seconds with about a minute and a half to two minutes in between. It's important that we really maintain that explosiveness and work for form. So in between on those rest periods, talk with your young athletes and make sure that they're doing some of those little things right that we might be doing wrong, like rolling that back or sagging in our spine. This drill is very effective for building strength in young athletes, and you can do it about anywhere. You don't need much space, you just need a nice firm wall, something steady that you can drive off of. Complete about three to five sets before moving on to some other youth cone drills that we have set up. If you're looking for more youth speed and agility drills, head to kbandstraining.com. We've got all kinds of drills there that are going to help focus on your athletic abilities as well as building strength for these young bodies.